All right. Um, just uh, just getting out of the service. It's still going on, but um, I actually have to begin heading back to Philly. Um, but it was a great service. It was a great, great service. Um, you know, I just uh, got done um, seeing one of our old classmates uh, perform, Jennifer, Jennifer Kinder, did a loving, wonderful um, musical tribute. We actually got to hear from Jimmy. Um, they played one of his raps that he had recently recorded. Um, and and uh, yeah, it was, it was good food, good people. There was like 200 people there. Um, and it's it was amazing really because I was surprised by how many people were there but then as soon as I saw that many people it made sense because I've been telling folks like all throughout the service that it wasn't until Jimmy passed that I realized that he was family like he he was one of the best people that I knew and I wish I had taken more time to know him more. And I, you know, this goes into, I've been saying it, cherish your relationships. Um, um, cherish your relationships. Don't wait until next week to catch up. Or, I mean, you know, just the bottom line is don't don't put off getting up with people. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't wait until that next reunion. Don't wait until next summer. Don't wait until next anything. You know, get those plans in motion because you don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it was, I saw him last year at the reunion. The, the next thing that I heard was that he had passed. You know, so, but he was, he was a great man. And there were people there from all walks of life. It was difficult to, you know, enjoy the, the feel good atmosphere because it was a celebration of his life. It wasn't very somber, but it was still like every time you saw somebody from, um, like back in the day you wish it would have been under better circumstances so so then that's you know <sighs> make the better circumstances happen under which you get up with other people like, like you know I mean I saw so many people I ain't seen in 30 years 20 30 years whatever you know what I mean and you know some that I've only seen from the past two reunions. Um, you know, and it's just... You, you've got to make those better circumstances. What's with all the loud cars in, in, in Reading? This little... This isn't Miami. What are y'all doing? I mean, it's, look, look at the street. Look, look, look at, we're not, you see, this is, this is Friday night. Why, why are you cruising the streets making all that damn noise? But, um, yeah, you know, cherish your relationships, make, make the better, make those better circumstances happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to record a completely separate video 
that's like in tribute to him um, that really talks about him but I can't he was the bigger better man always he made certain he was the first one to squash a beef if it didn't matter who was right he he would he would be the one to squash that beef and he you listen to the stories that his kids to, um <laughs> told about him and it's like yeah that's the dude that I knew that makes perfect sense when you know the, the young girl gets up there and tells a story about how she used to jump off the stairs and he would catch her and they would do that every time he never he never um like how he never missed catching her right but the one time she jumps off the stairs and like hits her head on the wall and bounces up the wall he still catches her puts her down and yells safe and yeah that and then he tells her you know well, once I yell safe, you can't cry. <laughs> if you cry, then you're in trouble. <laughs> um, with that, with Jimmy, man, he was, he was serious. He was goofy. He was introspective. He was deep. He was sensible. He was, you know, you know, mindful of conspiracy theories. He was, he was all over the place, but not in a chaotic manner he was just he was able to he was able to both absorb a lot of information and energy and then um you know give that energy back get put that energy out um and that's that's our job that's my job um you know, to to pay homage to that, to continue that, to not just let Jimmy's energy or his spirit dissipate, um, you know, for naught, with no, um, you know, we, we have to keep it going. And I, when I say we, I really mean, I mean like everybody, you, you, we all have to keep, um, Jimmy's spirit going because it might not be it might not be my Jimmy but each and everybody out there that can see this has has a Jimmy right they have a person out there they might be that person anybody you when people come through and they bring you energy don't just let that be for naught take that energy pass it along magnify it, amplify it give it to somebody else you know that they say they say each one teach one each one reach one all right because there's 200 people in there that Jimmy definitely reached and that's only a fraction of the people that he could actually have even known or made an impact on so cherish your relationships make the better circumstances happen be proactive and promote that energy you know pass along that energy of the people that have passed and people that are still here you know You know, make it regardless of what you believe in, whether you believe in Jesus, Allah, Buddha, just science, whatever, Yahweh, it doesn't, whatever, whatever you believe in, all right, you take that energy, pass it along, all right? Um... You know, take that energy, pass it along. Don't let their efforts have been in vain. You know, it's time for you to pick up the reins.
All right. Um, that's it. That's it. Ray Reese. Reese's Masterpieces. All right. See ya. Rest in peace, Jimmy. Flim. Nature of Man. All right. Peace. See ya.